My name is uh, Masaki Hori of the Max Planck Institute for Quantum Optics and also the University of Tokyo of Germany and Japan. The universe has this duality uh, between matter and antimatter. Duality means that for some reason, for every matter particle, there's always a, a corresponding antimatter particle. And we believe that the universe um, has a fundamental symmetry wherein the masses of these par an particle and antimatter particle are exactly the same. And um, this is a belief that we have of the standard model of particle physics. And here we have to uh, verify whether this uh, fundamental symmetry is correct or not. In fact, this symmetry uh, is such, so fundamental in our understanding of nature that if it's broken, then we really have to rethink all our theories of particle physics. Here we uh, measure the uh, mass of the antiproton relative to the mass of the electron. This is called the antiproton to electron mass ratio. And what we do is we synthesize atoms that contain antimatter. This is atoms that are half matter and half antimatter. We um, produce them in this experimental target. We then shine laser beams on these atoms and measure their uh, transition frequencies very precisely. What we do is we measure the color of these antimatter atoms very precisely. And then from this, we can uh, determine the uh, mass of these uh, anti anti uh, antiprotons. Well, we can only say that this, our understanding of particle physics, which is based on our belief that the two particles should be the same, is, has been confirmed to nine digits. But it, it does not exclude that maybe at the 10th digit or the 11th digit, as, as humans, um, how to say, technology advances, we can probe deeper and deeper and to higher and higher precision um, the, uh, whether the two are uh, the same or not. And of course, we've always liked to go to the highest possible precision because we don't know whether maybe at the next level of precision these things can be broken or not. In the next step, we believe we can measure the uh, mass of the antiproton more precisely than for the proton. In that sense, we would know the properties of antiparticles, antimatter particles, better than for um, normal particles. And this would allow us to probe deeper into what the, how the universe is and how these matter and antimatter particles behave. The Asakusa experiment at CERN studies a special kind of half-matter, half-antimatter atom called antiprotonic helium, shown in this animation. Here, in black, is an antiproton orbiting around the nucleus of a helium atom. We fire two opposite laser beams at this atom, and this causes the antiproton to make a quantum jump, stripping away the electron shell and then pushing it into the helium nucleus, which results in annihilation of the atom. This is the peak corresponding to the um, signal from the antiprotein helium atoms. 